Welcome back to Hockey Eastern Ontario's Rule of the Week, where each week we take a rule from the Hockey Canada Rulebook and break it down to explain it to our coaches, to our players, and of course to our officials. This week we're going to talk about boarding, including providing you some examples. Stay tuned. Before we get started, just a reminder to please like this video and subscribe to our channel. This will give you all the latest updates on our Rule of the Week series, as well as other videos that we produce here on this channel. So let's jump right into it and talk a bit about what boarding is and give you some examples. Okay, so Rule 7.2 is boarding. What exactly is boarding? A boarding penalty will be assessed to any player who checks or pushes an unsuspecting opponent in such a manner that causes the opponent to hit or impact the boards violently or dangerously. Furthermore, the duty is on the player applying the check to ensure their opponent is not in a defenseless position, and if so, they must avoid or minimize contact. However, in determining whether such contact could have been avoided, the circumstances of the check, including whether the opponent put themselves in a vulnerable position immediately prior to, or simultaneously with the check, or whether the check was unavoidable may be considered. So this is very different than the description we see in the rule book for checking from behind. For a checking from behind penalty, if a player hits an opponent into the boards in the back or in the numbers, it's an automatic checking from behind, regardless of whether or not the opponent changes their position, moves their body, or turns at the very last second. It's cut and dry for officials. As you can see here with boarding, the onus is still on the player laying the hit, but other factors may be considered by the referee at their discretion. So what are the penalty options for a boarding infraction? Well, first, there's a minor penalty, and this is any body check or push on an unsuspecting opponent that causes the opponent to hit the boards violently or dangerously. We call a major and a game misconduct penalty when the boarding infraction occurs with a high degree of violence. This degree of violence could refer to the impact of the hit or the impact with the boards. Also, if a player is injured as a result of a boarding call, then there's an automatic major in a game misconduct, irregardless of the degree of violence level. And finally, a match penalty is called if a player attempts to injure an opponent by way of a boarding infraction. In this scenario, the player who is called for the infraction will be ejected from the game, a five minute penalty will be placed on the clock, and a player who was on the ice at the time of the infraction would serve that penalty for the ejected player. Now let's take a look at a couple of examples. In this first example, you'll notice that the contact is not to the back. Remember, if the contact is to the back, we're gonna be calling a checking from behind, not a boarding penalty. The attacker is in a vulnerable position, but the defender makes the hit regardless. There's a minimal degree of violence, and as a result, a minor penalty for boarding would be assessed. Watch the video closely. So as you can see here, the player comes in, lays a hit. It's not a severe hit, but the player is far enough from the boards that we're concerned, so a minor penalty for boarding would be assessed in this scenario. Example number two. So in this example, again, contact is not to the back. Players are pursuing the puck, but the attacker is a dangerous distance from the boards. There's also a high degree of violence. And as a result, we would be calling at least a major penalty in a game misconduct for boarding here, or potentially a match penalty if we believe that there's a deliberate attempt to injure. Watch again. So you can see quite a distance from the boards. He goes in very awkwardly. And so therefore, the five in a game or a match penalty would be assessed in this scenario. All right, now it's your turn. Watch this video and think about whether this is a major penalty in a game misconduct for boarding, a match penalty for boarding, a minor penalty for boarding, or if there's no penalty at all. Watch carefully. Did you have no penalty on this play? If so, you're right. The contact is clean. It's a shoulder to chest hit. The player is not a dangerous distance from the boards. And as a result, there is no penalty here. 
we want to make sure officials understand the difference between checking from behind and boarding. A checking from behind penalty occurs when a player is hit directly in the numbers from behind into the boards. A boarding penalty is not a player getting hit from behind, but rather is hit unsuspectingly or awkwardly or a distance from the boards that potentially could be dangerous. For officials, please call the correct penalty you see on the ice at the time of the infraction. Remember, our goal is to make sure the game is safe and fair, and it's really important that we call the correct penalties. So there you have boarding. It can either be a minor penalty, a five minute major in a game misconduct penalty, or a match penalty. As always, if you have any questions about this video or any of the videos you see on our channel, please feel free to reach out to me. My contact information was at the beginning of this video. You can also reach out to the referee in chief of Hockey Eastern Ontario. His contact information is below. Finally, you can reach out to your local association referee in chief, or of course, you can feel free to reach out to your district chair as well. Before we go, just a reminder to please like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can get updated on all the latest content here, including our Rule of the Week series. As always, I hope you have a safe and wonderful week, and we'll see you back here real soon. All the best.